Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations everybody, we're back for another episode. We are continuing Stolen Turnabout today, we're still in the part one investigation. Oh yeah. I forgot, we have more investigating to do. Oh yeah, we're, I think, a little more than halfway through the investigation. Wow. Okay, that's fine. You I like, like, you like I the like investigation. I like the investigation a lot. I'm just like, oh, if there's a part two for the, like, and if there's a second part for the investigation, it's gonna be long. <laughs> well, that's how the cases always go, right? Oh, really? It's this music for her. I would not, yes, have, a lot I would of not have expected that. Well, that kind of works, I guess. Uh, oh, we have to give Ron the letter that she sent. But first, it's a lot louder than last time, I think, in music or vocal wise. No, it's the same same volume. Really? Maybe we, maybe like our dad was on the treadmill, so I couldn't hear it. Right. Who's this? Oh, Ron Delight's wife seems to be very friendly and outgoing lady. Hey, Ron, you're a lucky man. That's my lovely wife. Isn't she beautiful? Yeah, she sure is. <laughs> Ooh boy, the one topic I didn't want to get into in front of pearls. <laughs> but, Desi doesn't approve of my interests, so I'm afraid she doesn't like me anymore. What should I do? If I want to win her back, I'm really going to have to be super. Oh boy, he's gone back into his own little world again. Is it just me, or does she seem like a million years older than him? Like, just eye-wise. Like, eye-wise? Okay. Like, look at her eyes, okay. she kind of looks... Okay, there's him. Like, she has, like, the smaller anime eyes that are normally, like, a girl I've never have. thought about it before. I mean, she looks older than 23. Yeah. But she's definitely doesn't no, look... he... Like I said, he looks like the young dude. He looks like the high school actor kid. I guess. No dude in high school, though, has that hair. Well, it's a wig. Like, not he's not wearing a wig. Yeah, but, but if, the it, guy if it was a wig... Him. Yeah! Most guys don't have that young of a face. <laughs> Desiree's letter. Oh, Addressed yeah. to her husband, Deron Delight, apparently contains something important. Uh, wink, wink. It's just like, I'm divorcing you. <laughs> that would be really bad. <laughs> oh, that's right. Here, this is from your wife. Oh, from Desi? Thank you! Letter given to Mask the Mask. Actually, more like Taken. My dear Ronnie, how are you? I'm doing fine. That's all it says. He's clutching onto that letter so hard that ink is going to be squeezed out. He looks so happy. You should write a letter to Mystic Maya too, Mr. Nick. I almost said Mr. Link. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Link! <laughs> um, Mr. Lawyer? Yeah? In the letter that Desi wrote, she said, Ask this guy to be your lawyer. Huh? Er, uh, um... I know this would be asking a lot, but... Could you please take my case? My trial starts tomorrow. Hey, hang on a second! He can't be your lawyer! Why not? What do you mean, why not? We're the victims in this case, right? Victims of this Damascus guy! Well, yeah, but according to Desiree, he didn't do it. She said, poor man, he deluded himself into thinking he did it. Right, Mr. Nick? Come on! She could be lying to protect her husband! Well, that's true. Er, no, actually. Actually, it's hard to say. Oh, no! It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, please! I'll give you the treasure of your choice in return! Hmm. What should I Wait. do? <laughs> Wait! I'll give you the treasure. Does that mean he has the freaking thing still? <laughs> Does he have the jar? That... Remember, I left it on the train? <laughs> Or like sometimes you would lose veins, you would forget to take them off the train. <laughs> that means, okay, but here's the deal. If you literally lost something, probably someone will have found it by now. Like, it might be in a lost and found bin somewhere, <laughs> but it's been gone. I think he's offering to steal something for us. Oh. In exchange. Um, <laughs> this is not boating well. <laughs> no. I don't... Here's the thing. I'm no. guessing this this one doesn't have spread paths. Like, I'm guessing it's, like, whatever we pick here, it's like, well, it'll happen True. either way. <laughs> oh. Like, I'm guessing. What, what would only, be your gut, though? My gut, if I was here, 
Well, this is why I'm not a lawyer, but... <laughs> Who would you go and pay? Oh, wait, he's stealing anything we want. Anything we want. So, that's, that's, that's kind a of lot. terrible. <laughs> like, his offer in return's terrible, but I feel like he probably didn't do it if his wife's literally like, oh, yeah, totally, this is not... <laughs> that's like, not that thing. This is not... This, he, he thinks that... <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I want to help a mentally unstable person necessarily with his case anyway, but... He's not necessarily yeah. mentally okay, unstable. Okay, well, he's having delusions about... Mass demands. Okay, here's delusions. the thing. If you believe you are a person, like, if I woke up one day and I was just like, I'm Taylor Swift, I'm gonna go to her concert, I'm gonna get up on stage and start singing. Like, that's a messed up person. So, at least in my case. Okay. Just just do whatever. I guess I'm gonna try and... Don't do it, Nick! He's a thief! Mr. Nick, I agree with Mystic Maya. Well, I admit something about this guy stinks like last week's sushi. I guess I really should say no, but... If I do that, this poor guy will have nobody on his side. If I do that, the story won't progress. <laughs> well, Mr. Delight, I've decided to take your case. Really? You will? Mr. Nick, I, I was wrong about you. I shouldn't have trusted you. The pearls? I can't believe you defend this person after what he did to Mystic Maya. I'll never forgive you, ever! <laughs> the pearly, wait! This is going to be ugly. I I'll go after her. Oh, I'm guessing we were supposed to do this before we went. To, yeah. Well, no, we couldn't have. Because we had to get the letter oh. from Desiree. No, I, th I think we were supposed to go to, um... You know how we went to that location? It's just like, where's Pearls? That was his oh, hideout was his where hideout? we got the letters. Oh, never mind. Um, sorry about that. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Well, you couldn't have known she'd react like that. I guess I might as well start investigating. I mean, either way. Can we get the really sad detention center music? Oh, Maya, where's Pearls? She said she's going back to the office. Go check on her later, would you? And what about you? Are you okay with me taking Mr. Delight's case? Yeah, I'm fine, Nick. I believe in you. <laughs> I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, I know you have a lot of work to do. Uh, I really appreciate it. Cool. And then he leaves. Okay, Nick, let's get the show on the road. Oh, let's go. We haven't check. examined the stuff oh. yet. <laughs> Smile. You're on candid camera. The camera doesn't seem to have a lot of tape right now. The only thing it's watching now is that guard over there. Uh, let's look at the guard. This guard monitors the visitor's room. It looks like he doesn't have much to do right now. I can tell because he's looking at the camera and making funny faces. <laughs> Try to! <laughs> um, let's check on Pearls, because... Reasons? <laughs> what if she didn't make it back? It's not like... That's true. Okay, this is a city. It's not like Pearls is gonna be like, and just like runs down the street and finds the place she would have to like hop on a train you're, you're talking about the kid who ran to the courthouse from her village okay. which is two hours away okay. by train true <laughs> i forgot about that why the heck did she do that she didn't know trains were a thing she's but like i'm gonna run october wow. 12th right in company law offices Mr. Nick, welcome back! Oh, hey Pearls, you're back too, I see. Uh, I, uh, I went and bought us a strawberry cake! I'll go make us some tea to go with it! Uh, Peach didn't make that cake, did she? <laughs> otherwise, <just> got it. <laughs> otherwise, I'm not gonna eat it. <laughs> what do you, uh, Peach makes okay cakes sometimes. She's not the one she gave to Shy Guy. Oh, where gourmet she, Guy. Where she Ooh, baked cleanser. it for four years. <laughs> <laughs> Baking a cake for like four Did years is perfectly video? acceptable, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Hey, uh, Pearls? It looks like she feels really bad about what happened at the detention center. We don't need a flashback, okay? We, it literally we just had- No, it's fine. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> we, this, we saw this like two seconds ago! Well, You're I'm always- probably coming. expecting <laughs> nobody cares about Pearl and the thing just like went everywhere. Mystic Maya, the tea's ready! The only other place we could have gone to is his hideout, though, and that's, I don't think that's connected to anything else. Oh, thanks. Come on, Mr. Nick, please have some of this cake. Yeah, thanks. Um, Pearls? Oh, excuse me, I was in the middle of cleaning the toilet. Hey, it's okay, I just cleaned it this morning. It's not good enough, apparently. Too late. This might be a good time for me to ask about her.
I first met Pearls a year ago. Let's have a flashback to that when she ran two hours <laughs> for village. It was when that murder happened in Korean Village. Broke the jar. That, not it. the murder or anything. No, it, that's literally the whole case. The broken jar. I still remember what she said to, said to me when we first met. You, you're Mystic, N Mr. Nick. <laughs> Mystic, Mystic Nick. Nick. <laughs> you're Mr. Nick, right? You're, you're Mystic Maya's <gasps> special someone. Hey, Maya, I've always thought it was because she was young, but... But what? Pearls, I think she's got the wrong idea about you and I. Uh-huh! Uh, I... Um, there's something you need to understand. W what is it? Um, it's kind of like a Korean village custom, sort of. What is it? You marry the first man you meet? Is it the whole village? Is the whole village women? I can't remember. Not the whole village, but it's mostly women because, like, the spirit channeling can only be done by women. Okay, then maybe it's like all the men in the village are married. And she's like, oh my gosh! You met the first man of your life! You need to marry him! Th there's basically no single guys there. Probably not. There's hardly any men in Korean Village. Now that you mention it, I never actually saw any men there when I visited. That's sexist! <laughs> I'm pretty sure I told you about it a long time ago. About how spiritual powers run very strongly in the Fae family. Yeah, you did. And that's why you're undergoing training to be a spirit medium, right? Yeah. The thing is, only women can actually inherit the spiritual power. That's why the whole culture of Korean Village kind of revolves around its women. Well, that's understandable. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but because of that, there tends to be a lot of unsuccessful marriages. Oh? Well, men start to feel left out after a while, and then they just start leaving. Especially if the man has a daughter. Are you saying that Pearl's father? He's gone. He left the village when she was very young. Boy, that's tough. Yeah, and she grew up seeing nothing but unhappy marriages all around her. That's why she's so sensitive to things like that. That's really sad. It's like if you grew up in the 80s. No, I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> no, that was the time where, like, what was it, 50% of marriages end in divorce? I think that's nowadays. Well, maybe it's the same. Actually, nowadays times. I think it's like 53%, which is terrible. Sad. Depressing. Yeah. There, there's a reason for that. Maybe maybe people need to do more introspection. Maybe! Change their expectations a little bit. Maybe! Pearl seems to love you a lot. Well, it's because I'm her only cousin, and... Well, because of the murder case last year, Pearlie's mother is... Oh, yeah. Wow, Pearl's has the worst family, apparently. <laughs> Mom's in jail. Dad left because he was bored. And so he's just... She has her just, cousin Maya. Her other cousin died before her other she even really got to know her. Her cousin died before she met her. And Pearl's just like... La, ba, da, ba, da, like Pearl's aunt is who knows where. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's not technically dead. Her uncle... Oh, Maya's dad died. So her uncle's Maya's not dad too. died. Maya's mom is alive, but like... Mysteriously disappeared. So... Ooh. Ooh. I remember now. Pearl's mother, Morgan Fay. Oh, yeah. she, she drank paint. It was really <laughs> weird. <laughs> She's serving a prison term in isolation right now. I mean, probably for good reason. Yeah. <laughs> so, you see, I'm the only family Pearly has right now. But it's the same for me, too. My... My mother's gone, too. She's not dead. So your mother's still missing? Yeah, and no one has any idea where she is. I feel like it's almost better, though, that it's like, oh, she could be alive than, like, she's dead. Like, there's kind of that hope still left. I don't yeah, know, but maybe that can that's, also be that damaging. can backfire, yeah. Maya's mother, Misty Fay, the current master of the Korean channeling technique. She disappeared 17 years ago after getting involved in a certain police case. At that point, I would assume she's dead after 17 years. Like, you'd think you would try and find your family. Mm -hmm. But you're sure she's still alive, right? Yeah, I know she is. It's sort of a spirit medium thing. Oh, what if she tried channeling her and it didn't work? That might have... Yeah, that might have been it. What if you do, like, or, an unsuccessful... Or Pearl's tried to do it. 
Yeah. That I wonder, what if, like, you try and channel somebody and they're not dead? Like, does that mean it just doesn't it, work? Nothing happens. Because that's happens. what happened in case two of the last game. Yeah, because they The reason like, Mimi Miney had to kill the guys because they tried to channel her and she was actually and alive. She's alive. And she's alive. No one knew it. And she no one couldn't knew. let them know. Right. That's right. I forgot about that. And if your mother doesn't come back, then what? Then according to the laws of the village, I'll become the next master. Mystic Maya, the master of the current technique. Sounds like a heavy responsibility. Yeah, but there's no one else with the blood of the thing main family who's who's a spirit medium. Well, Nick, why don't we go out and start investigating? We're not going to learn anything just sitting around the office. Yeah, I know. But first I want to talk to Pearls. Um, Mr. Nick? Yeah? I... I acted like a baby. Pearls. I doubted you, even though Mystic Maya trusted you completely. I guess I still have a lot of training to do. Mr. Nick? Yes? I, from the bottom of my heart, I apologize for what I said. Aw, it's okay. I'm the one that should be apologizing. Well, I'm going out now for a little bit. Huh? Well, where are you going? You're nine years old and it's Cal Japanifornia. <laughs> well, it's safe in Japan, so maybe that part of Japan is You know is the mafia is out. <laughs> okay, but l quite literally, I have a friend of a friend who was in Japan. That doesn't sound right. Friend of a friend. I have friends who had friends who were living in Japan and just, like, they would just let their kids go out because, like, it's so safe. Which is kind of cool and kind of crazy. Hmm. Just nothing to I mean, good for happens. Japan. Yeah, good for Japan. It's safe. I may be small, but I still have a lot of spirit channeling power. So I'm going to show you I can be useful, too, by finding some evidence. Hey, well, wait a... Ah, she sure runs fast. Considering she's in, like, practically a kimono. Nick, let's back off and give her some room, okay? Yeah. Yeah, spirit me mediums, they, like, wear kimonos with, like, skirts and flip-flops. Pearl's running that fast in flip-flops. <laughs> well, okay, I'm curious, because you almost never see a full picture of them. I wonder if they're wearing, um, what are they, Gaeta sandals? Those are the ones that are, like, super thick, like, the platforms are that no. much. No, nope. They're like this and this. It's just flip-flops. Basically just flip-flops. Okay. Okay, the where, do, where should we go? We could go uh, back to the main exhibition hall. We haven't been to the Acme Detective Agency yet. <laughs> <laughs> back um, to the hideout. Let's go back to the main uh, hall, because I think that something might happen. Oh, look! Something's gonna happen! <laughs> October 12th, Lord Lee Taylor Main Exhibition Hall. Maya! Oh, Miss Andrews! I'm so sorry. It's my fault. Your precious urn... Your, your precious urn! Please, c calm down. What's wrong? It never ends. Everything I touch in ends in failure. Maya, I'm so sorry. I'll do everything to make it up to you. No, it's okay. Don't... I know I don't look it, but I'm good with my hands. I could make you another urn. Hold on. J just wait, okay? Breathe. Calm down and talk to us. Forgive me. Forgive me. Uh-oh, low self-esteem Adrian's back. That's Aww. not good. Well, at least she's talking more. Low self-esteem Adrian before is just like, Hi. Reading the book. I'm reading the book. <laughs> um, so when did you get the calling card for Mask to Mask? Let's see. Exactly ten days ago. I was going to show it to the police, but the detective stopped me. What?! <laughs> I knew it was trouble! He's like, oh, it's fine. I can do everything by myself. <laughs> and then I'd be home in time for the Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament. <laughs> so, you asked Detective Atomy to help you with the security? Yes. In fact, it was about 20 days ago that I hired him. He seemed to know much more about Mask to Mask than the police. So you hired him for security even before the calling card arrived? Well, yes. I had a premonition that something bad might happen. I've learned to trust my hunches. So that's why there are security cameras even in the basement warehouse? Yes. Lordly Taylor is very serious about their security measures. It was their way of saying, bring it on, to any potential thieves. Well, he sure brought it last night, and even left with a nice souvenir. How about that security, huh? <laughs> um, can you tell us a bit about the security for the treasure exhibit? It was all my fault! I never should have called this paltry little collection of a treasure exhibit anyway. Why do you say that? The urn was, that was stolen was a pretty important object. Maybe, but its actual value after appraisal was, well, practically zero. Zero?! I polished it until it was just about glowing. I thought maybe I could make it look more valuable. What? That poor book! What is she doing to that book? Shh! 
<laughs> Break it. I mean, I'm fine. I don't like this. But that urn contains the soul of Misty Gummy. Anyway, I left all the security arrangements to Detective Acme. But five days ago, I began receiving all sorts of other exhibit items from Kurang. Lots of people started going in and out of the warehouse down there. So maybe one of them was actually masked and masking the skies! No, I personally checked out everyone that came through here, so that's not possible. It could be possible. Knowing Adrian, she probably even checked out what they ate for breakfast that morning. What did you eat for breakfast? Granola? You can't come in here! <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like what masked and mask would eat. <laughs> Granola with yogurt? True disaster. <laughs> Oh, we still only have one page of this stuff. Hey, uh, this bent. <laughs> I don't know if you know that. Uh, Miss Andrews? I know, I know. It's all my fault. But what's done is done. I'll make it up by making a new errand for you. I'm just wasting my time. She's too far gone. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, uh, we're uh, gonna go into the basement warehouse. Never mind, nothing's happening. <laughs> um, I do love the investigation thing, though. Yeah. Well, now she looks calm. This <laughs> until you present something to her. Uh... At yeah, me, Detective yeah, let's Agency. Do let's do it. <laughs> you know you're a high and mighty type when, <laughs> when you, you have, have a picture of yourself <laughs> on the wall <laughs> and it's that big. Well, uh, to be fair, At me definitely seems like the type of person who would have it. So I don't know. October it looks like if Edgeworth lived in like Snow White's time. With the no, with the <laughs> with the colors and stuff and the fireplace. Uh, the At Me Detective Agency. Hello? Well, well. How lovely it is to see you again, my dear. Hi. Welcome to my abode. Relax and soak up the atmosphere. Uh, um, we're actually kind of... Shh! Silence! <laughs> Precisely as I expected. W what is it? Zvari! The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. A lawyer and a spirit medium. Am I correct? Um, I think we've already been through this. Ha! So my estimation was correct. Zvari! How truly elegant. Imagine having this guy at a party, like, with people he didn't know, and just being like, I'm going to guess your profession. Based on your clothes. Based on your clothes. It's like, yeah, that would make, that would be funny. Maybe Although, honestly, that's it, really not impressive because Maya's outfit is what sticks out of the store from, and Phoenix has his attorney's badge pinned to his shirt. Do you like my- and he also showed it off where he's like, do you like my attorney's badge? <laughs> now then, what can I do for you? Absolutely nothing, I just want to snoop around your place. What music are you playing, huh? <laughs> this is uh, his personal theme song that he composed himself. <laughs> I mean, it's actually pretty good. I really like this theme. You mentioned before that you were on guard all alone last night. Precisely. This is my fifth encounter with my arch enemy. Uh... I refuse to allow anyone to interfere with the rightful pursuit of my prey. I heard you've been after Mask to Mask since his very first theft. Yes, my dear. I see you've done your homework. In his very first heist, that vile thief pilfered the famous jewel, the Tear of Eminon. I first encountered him in the museum's sacred hall, the crime scene itself. So, that's why you were hired as security for the treasure exhibit? I'm pretty sure he said that Adrian Andrews hired him. Yes, I borrowed some equipment from Lord Lee Tr Taylor and set the perfect trap. You must mean the security camera. But I thought you were watching the area yourself too. So how did Mask to Mask manage to steal the urn? That's the million dollar question. What is Mask to Mask's modus operandi? Here's what we need to do. Before you talk anymore, go back. Go to our profiles and just show him and be like, hey, so this weird dude, uh, the, the next page. Show him that. Okay. Oh, yeah. This man surrendered to the police, admitting that he was masked to mask. Maybe so, but I'm not convinced that he's really behind the thefts. He is. He sounds pretty sure. Just look at his forehead. It's all in the shape of his mouth and eyes. This is the classic face of a thief. It is unmistakable. <laughs> There's all kinds of people who are thieves. <laughs> as we've clearly seen in the previous games. Yep. Is there anything that isn't unmistakable to you? How about his <laughs> check, wife, huh? Check it out. What about this person here, Detective Atme? Is something wrong? Did the cat get your tongue or something? That photo leaves me with a distinctly indistinct feeling. Um... 
In this case, I'm afraid my perspicacity has been left wanting. I think he's trying to say that he doesn't have any information. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> How about myself? This person is Zvari, a great ace detective. Am I correct? Um, but I was the one asking you. This photo simply isn't enough information. I'm afraid I can't be absolutely certain. <laughs> But the intelligence in those eyes indicates a man of deep wisdom and insight. I would love to have seen his, like, high school senior photo where it's like, okay, here's, here's the graduating class of whatever year, and it's like him with his hair like, hey! <laughs> Rats, my eyes were closed. <laughs> yep. Stop messing around, Nick, and just ask him already! But, but this guy is scary! We already showed him masks. That's mask. fine. I just wanted to show and see if well, he'd let's be like, look oh my gosh, look at that picture! That's quite a large portrait of yourself you have there. Yes, I wanted it to say to everyone who saw it, Look at me, look at me. With a model so fine, I knew the portrait would also be aesthetically pleasing. Um, that's nice. How about that, uh, Photograph. yeah. Photograph. Ah, so the music in this room is coming from here! <laughs> look at me, Elegy, composed by Look at me. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I told <Okay>. you. <laughs> This lovely device is called a gramophone. No, it's not. It is. It is? Phonograph, phonograph gramophone. Oh, I, I thought that, I thought it was a phonograph. There might be a difference Period. between the two. I don't know. Cool. In days of yore, people listened to music on them. Aha! Uh -huh. That's just what I thought. I told you so, Nick. Nick's like, you know you didn't. Ah, oh. oh, there's a cold breeze coming from here. Or from the heart. <laughs> It seems you've fallen for my little deception. You see, this fireplace conceals a rather unexpected device. Yes, a high-tech air conditioner. <gasps> Why would you put an air conditioner in there? In the summer, it acts as an air conditioner, and in the winter, it's a heater. Clever. I mean, that's kind of cool, but if you were like, oh man, I, I want to go to the fireplace, and then there's just like <laughs> a breeze coming at you, you're like, this is wrong. <laughs> that's one impressive bookshelf filled with some very impressive books. My life is an ace detective. Unabridged edition by Luke Atme. Ace detective. Hey, he's even got one of those ships in a bottle things. Ha! Huh, would you look at that? There's a little Luke Atme doll in the helm. How cute! The helm? Yep. Helm. There's a mice microscope here too. I wonder if he was researching something. The glass slides have different names on them. This one says Atme virus. Hmm. This guy's just dying to make a name for himself, huh? It's getting kind of irritating, actually. What a- oh, the chemistry. It's a chemistry set! This desk is literally covered with all sorts of chemistry equipment. Wow. Oh, I just love chemistry! Say, Nick, I bet you didn't know this, but... Water is made up of carbon and hydrogen! No, 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 not carbon, oxygen! Oxygen and hydrogen. Oh, well, there's always alternative theories, I guess. If by alternative theories you mean the ones that you make up inside that head of yours. Uh, <laughs> Are you going to talk to me? <laughs> no. Can you just walk around his room awkwardly? Uh, Mr. Atme, do you know about the sacred urn? Okay, I'm... I Part of me, once we're done with these series, I really want to watch the show and just be like, is it super awkward where it's like, welcome to my place, and like Maya's just like, look, it's a stepladder! And they're like, do you want to talk to me? Or is it like more simplified. No, it's it's, probably... it's really fast-paced. Well, that would make sense. Some of these are really long. Yeah. And they don't have the extra stuff that, like, it's just sure. there for But I'm sure jokes. it's, like... <laughs> Animation quality's not very good, either. Yeah, probably not. They made a newer show that was kind of good. Like, I saw one episode, and I was like, ooh! These are right. meant to be get played, though. Yeah, I agree. The interest in, I'm interested in only one theme, my dear, and that is Mask to Mask. Sacred Urn? <clears throat> that has nothing to do with this case. But wasn't that what Mask to Mask stole this time? I am a hunter, sir. The urn was nothing more than a lure to catch my prey. Do you yourselves remember the shape of the individual peanuts you throw to pigeons? I don't think I like this guy's attitude, Nick. Well, anyway, it looks like he doesn't know about the urn. Um, there's something that's kind of bothering me. Please, my dear, ask me anything you like. Why are you so weird? After all, we are all but the Seekers, wandering alone in the dark. Well, I was wondering how Mask to Mask managed to steal the urn. I mean, isn't it strange that you don't seem to know? Yeah, now that you mention it, it is strange. After all, you were on guard that night at the scene of the crime. 
Unless you were sound asleep, you should have at least seen Mask to Mask. Ah! It's our little... Oh, one. What? What the? It's a Psyclock! Psyclock? Oh yeah, Maya wasn't there for that. Well, she was there in the circus case. We had a few there. Oh yeah. Hey Nick, what is this Psyclock thing? Well, your Magatama lets me see when people are keeping secrets. By breaking their mental locks, I can find out what those secrets are. What? That Magatama has this much power? Maya, you're the one who gave me this Magatama last year! Well, it's true that the Magatama is a prized Fae family heirloom, but... Harley was the one that actually... Imbued it. Imbued it. With the spiritual powers, right? Okay. I literally don't say that word ever. That's why I don't really know much about what it can do. This is the woman that's going to take over the Korean channeling school someday. So, how do you do it? How do you break the Cyclock thing? Well, you present the Magatama to the person with the secret. Cool! I can't wait to see it in action! Come on, let's try it out! Oh boy. I think the future master still needs to learn how to be patient. Well, let's... Uh, can we break it right now? We can try. Alright. You want it? I missed or... the music, so sure. I do, when, I do love the Psyclock first, music. When he first, like, sat up and he was like... And then the the room turned dark. I was like, wait, his chemistry! He's gonna kill us with, like, poisonous gas! And then I forgot oh, about wow. the Cyclops. <laughs> Mask to Mask's Emma. <laughs>